What's going on, Crypto Crew? Sean's coming back at you. Another cryptocurrency video. Getting straight into the Bitcoin price. Been a lot of volatility today, but no, we're still up and to the right. You went in doubt, zoom out. You see we're just stair-stepping our way up. This is a possible setup scenario. We talked about this. Next level Bitcoin needs to pay attention and get above is that eighty-three to ninety thousand dollar range. If we can get above that, then this will be invalidated. This could be potential head and shoulders pattern, a higher low playout going into the new year and back down to fifty thousand. But you see this macro inverse head and shoulders pattern playing out. We haven't ran into this neckline yet. We still have some upside if this is what's in the cards for Bitcoin. This will extend the cycle most definitely. And it'll take you up to that $500,000 Bitcoin price target. Is this what's to play out going into the new year? Are we going to get this rally going to the end of the summer and then cool off going into 2025 and then rip to the upside and have a massive bull market through 2025, potentially summer 26? You be the judge. Zooming into the price action, what do we see? We see that there's a lot of bearishness in the market. Bitcoin was up about 72000 about roughly less than a week ago and then fell off a cliff and then traded sideways in this channel fell off another cliff and then look what happened this was fomc and cpi trade action wiping out shorts wiping out longs you see this big candle but we are sitting right at that 200 moving average now are we going to get far farther downside remember when in doubt zoom out we still are in an uptrend the same way we pulled back here, we continued up. The same way we pulled back here, are we going to have that continuation to the upside? Once again, we're holding that 200 at the current time it's recording. And right now, this could have been a buying opportunity. We told you not to trade on FOMC days because, you know, you know how those days can be very volatile. Will history repeat for the altcoins? FOMC, we did not get any rate cuts. A month before rate cuts, June of 2019, is when the last alt season started. And really, the rally up to that $65,000 peak when these got cut. So will we see the cut in July? Or will it be later on in the year? And will we get a cool off the same way we did back in 2019? Once again, you be the judge. We showed you different scenarios that could set up. But Bitcoin potentially could run up a little bit more before a rate cut send it down to the $50,000 range. Then we resume. Now, before we continue, make sure you go ahead and check us out at BitcoinBros101.com. We have two ebooks that we're selling. Getting started with Bitcoin and Crypt Ultimate Beginner's Guide and Technical Analysis 101. Taking a look at the total three, what do we see? We see that we actually... Came up a little bit from 630 billion up to 652 at the current time of this recording. And right now we're just holding this support level. We came back down, retested it. Are we going to get that bump and run continuation up to the next technical resistance level around 780 to 790 billion dollars? If so, that's a big inverse head and shoulders. We've showed you that. We showed you the targets. We have to hold this line here. If we break below the 600, and 20 billion dollar range then we could be seeing some more downside pressure from trader sz we have been just trading in this channel a good call out this rip up to about 69,000 was due to cpi data we came back down but as you see we're still in this channel still in an uptrend the trends your friend till the end another bullish indication m2 is now positive with rates at 5.5 the M2 money supply is the printer. This is going to be the money printer turning back on. This is the money printer ramping up when the pandemic struck right here. And we cool it off, and now we're back turning the money printers on. Will this, call, will this send us new all-time highs? Most definitely. And we want to show you an altcoin that you know is sort of gearing up and looks pretty bullish. Binance coin. Yes, it's an L1, but it's something to definitely pay attention to. We actually have two targets for you to look at. If this is a big bull flag pattern that's playing here, this technical target would be up to roughly $20,000. Could Binance reach $20,000? Is that realistic? So looking at coin market cap, right now at the current time it's recording, we're around $620. So 
if we were to hit 20,000 from 620, that's roughly a 32x. Is this realistic? You have to look at this valuation right here, 91 billion. So if you multiply this by 91, this would take us up to 2.9 trillion dollars. So is that realistic? We don't think so because as you see here, the overall crypto market capitalization is 2.5 trillion dollars right here. Now, you know, if we did go up that high, we'd have probably 20 trillion dollars in the overall crypto market capitalization. So let's go back to the chart and reassess what we see. Here's another technical target we have right here around $2,200. Is that realistic? From 620, you're looking at roughly a 4X. You're looking at roughly 350 to 400 billion. That is more in the realm of possibility. And as you see, we are just getting squeezed. This is on the five day chart. If we zoom into this price action, we see we have the green line that crosses over the 200. And right now we came back and retested it and at macro resistance. And we're just sitting on it right now. This seems that it's bullish. Could it get rejected? It's a possibility. But this indication on the higher time frame definitely indicates upwards pressure. Looking at the extension levels here, you see the 2.618. We hit $638. The next extension level, 3.618, up to $43, almost $4,400. So can $4,400 be hit? Is that realistic? You're looking at $4,400 from where we are right now, $620. That's a 7X. So that's definitely in the realm of possibility as well. This is looking at BNB versus ETH, same scenario. We could be seeing this flag pattern play out. It could be, you know, it's more drawn to scale like this. And right here we topped out, bottom out, top out, bottom out. And we're seeing that 20 curl up and come back. We just retested it, flipped resistance to support in a bullish manner. We're going to definitely come back up to this upwards bound is what it looks like. And as far as a overall gain against Ethereum, it's a 50% gain. And then looking at the RSI below, we stair stepped our way down, bottomed out, had a strong wick above this and retested this resistance now to support. So will we see a continuation to the upside? Technical target against Ethereum, how much gain could we see? We could see a massive appreciation of roughly about 383%, which is about a 4.8x with BNB outpacing ETH with that comparative. BNB and Bitcoin, looking at this chart, we see this uptrend. We've came and respected this upwards channel, downwards channel, upwards channel, downwards channel. The RSI is topped out bottomed out, topped out, bottomed out, and when's the next top out going to be? We're closer to the base than we are the peak. And as you see here, getting back up to this technical target, this is an 833% gain, 9.33x gain against Bitcoin. So could you get some massive appreciation if this plays out in Bitcoin valuation? 100%. And then from El Crypto Prof, everyone's watching the FOMC today, but did you know that Bitcoin's about to do something that has only happened three times in history? It's about to leave the 0.5 line. And what's he looking at? He's looking at this blue line. Every time Bitcoin leaves this, it comes to this upwards channel. Every single time Bitcoin leaves it, upwards channel. Every single time it doesn't fail. Where's this upward channel at today? And once we break it, this would take us up to roughly around 130,000. But one thing to note, as this uptrend expands, so does the upper bound. So will this extend higher than 130,000? Yes. Could we be hitting 200, 250? Definitely in the cards. And we'll leave you with this. This is a scam dump. Every time FOMC comes around, what happens? We see a dump into the FOMC, dump into the FOMC, rinse, repeat. And then we, we wicked up and dump back. All this is expected. But look what happens afterwards. Price increase, retracement back up, retracement back up, retracement back up. And are we going to have an indication of what's going to happen over the next couple of weeks? A retracement back up is most likely in the cards. And with that, I'm Sean with the Bitcoin Bros. If you guys like this content, go ahead and smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and show us some love. We appreciate each and every single one of you. 
with that, that's all I have for you today, and I'm out.